Hello, John Braun with Hitman Advertising. Facebook has made some recent changes to their ads. And if you guys have asked me to do a new video with some of those updates and really how to deal with that. So we're going to jump right into it. That's what we're going to talk about now. So this is the Facebook Ads Manager. To get there, you need to go to the Home button and then go to Ads Manager. You'll see it around here on the left-hand side. That's kind of one of the uh, most known ways to be able to get there. And when, when you're there, you're going to see an overall view of your past ads. If you have any, if not, you'll just have something that says Create. So you go over here and you create a new ad. Now here it looks a little bit different than the old version and I was a little confused the first time I went for the, this new change and looked at this but really what you do is you can switch to the guided creation and it's a little bit more like the old way of doing it. You can go this way but what this is really asking you is for the campaign then the set of ads under the campaign and then the actual ad kind of like Google AdWords. They're kind of sort of trying to do it that way. But again, I felt that it's a little bit easier for guided creation. Now, this may or may not stay there, so you might have to resort to this later. Who knows what they're going to end up doing. But what I recommend that you do is to go to guided creation. Now, here you've got a wide variety of different things you can do for your ad. Awareness, I don't really recommend that you mess around with this because this is more just brand awareness and image advertising. I like to deal with direct response advertising and getting a direct result for the advertising money that I'm spending. So I don't recommend that you mess around with that. What probably mostly that you're going to mess around with and do ads with are going to be here in consideration. Mostly traffic, which is traffic mostly to your website or it could be to a message. You can actually have an ad and then have a custom created ad and then have your prospect message you on Facebook, which is kind of neat. Engagement, which is going to be you make a post on your Facebook page and then you actually engage them and pay for traffic for people to see that post. Or video views, where you actually put up a video. Now you can actually do video views on engagement as well if you have a video on your Facebook page for your company. But video views tends to be maybe questionably a little bit cheaper and a little bit less of a clunky way to do that. Also lead generation where you actually have them fill out a form and they can either message you or sort of be in your system in your database on Facebook for a lead. So that's kind of neat too. So we're going to go over a couple of these and just sort of show you the differences and how to do this. First we'll do traffic for just a second and we'll show you how that's done. So we're going to click on traffic. You're going to call this something. In this case, I'm going to call it test just so that I know what it's going to be. And it's going to let you have traffic to your website or an app, which a lot of you probably don't have, but if you do, you can do it to that, or Messenger. You want to do an offer, ideally. Uh, you can dra drive more conversions by actually having an offer, but you want to do an offer, ideally. And then you choose your audience. Now, this is similar to what we've talked about before, but we'll kind of briefly go over that. Um, it can either be visitors to your website if you've actually done a pixel for that, which is something that I recommend. Also, too, if you're going to put in emails, that can be really good, too. You can create a custom audience for doing that if you have emails from your email newsletter list, and then you can drive traffic in this particular case, or driving traffic to a website or to a link for your Facebook messages. I think automatically it will create a pixel for you, but you can create a new one and call everybody that responds to this ad under that same pixel. As well, I highly recommend that you create a pixel on your, because this is what this one is for right here, Create a pixel on your actual website to where you can mark it back and remarket to everybody that went to your website. Now that's a little bit more complicated because you have to have code and you have to be able to get into your code. Now if you have a WordPress site, it might be easy. That, again, that's another subject, but you can do that. Highly, highly recommend that you, if you if you don't do this, you're going to be almost in trouble from the very beginning. But uh, I can't say that I've never been guilty of forgetting to do this because I have. But make sure that you are targeting people only in your city. That's a very big thing. You can target exactly the city or a certain radius around the city depending on what you want to do. And then target men or women, an age group. Usually I like to start with an age over 26, 27, maybe 25 at the youngest. A lot of the times women, but it really depends on the situation. In this case we'll target women uh, language, if you prefer to do a different language. By the way, if you if you do speak Spanish, it might be a really good idea to do a Spanish-only segmented ad, and you can do it this way, and, and then make sure in your targeting that you target people, demographics that are Spanish or 
uh, of Latin descent. I think there's a way to do that underneath here, but that's one idea. So we can also target people by income, and what I like to do is usually pick people that are higher income, and this takes just a second. As far as I found, there's not a, one button to just get everybody, so you kind of have to go through the whole list and over 75,000 or more. And then you can narrow that down. Make sure you don't just say and do this, but you want to narrow that down to where they have all these require or any one of these requirements is what this is saying. Then I click narrow. And they also must have this uh, be a homeowner is maybe a good one. Uh, and that over here, it's going to show you how many people that you're actually reaching. So in this case, I'm reaching women that are over the age of 25 in Pensacola within 15 miles outside of Pensacola, or I could just say only within sit current city and that's all, not any anything outside if I want to go that route. Um, and of this income and that are homeowners, right? I might could narrow it down even further and go our parents. There we go. So parents, homeowners, and have a higher income. That's kind of a neat audience. If I want to, I can save that audience as well. Now, here's a different thing if I really wanted to do this. If I wanted to only target this traffic ad to people who like my Facebook page, I would go here, and this would be a, probably a separate thing. Um, I could go here and target people who like my page, and then I would pick the page that I want them to like. Now, here's the other thing that's a little bit different. Automatic placements is going to be a, a decent thing to do here. A lot of the times, the budgets are higher than what they used to be used to you could do five dollar budgets some of the times you still can it depends on i guess the amount of people that you're trying to reach now i recommend that you do manual bidding not automatic if at all possible i always recommend that you do manual do it based on link clicks not on impressions of course there there is a different way to do it on impressions so that's not a, a hardcore always to do rule um, when you get charged i don't want to be charged by the impression i want to be charged by the link click Okay, and I'm probably not going to bid anywhere near what they're telling me to bid here. I'm probably going to bid in the 55, I don't know, maybe 65 cents range. Again, play with this. There's several different ways to do this. There's ways that I've done this before where if you have a big enough audience, you can actually get clicks for as little as, especially with videos, you can get clicks for as little as two cents if you've got a video, uh, even one cent if you've got a video. And there's ways to do this even more. Kind of have to have a larger audience. Here we've only got a potential reach of 15,000 people. So they're probably not going to give me a really, really low amount per click. So uh, we've got this set, again, for link clicks. we got it on manual. Link click is when we're going to get charged. And then we're going to click continue. And then now here, it's going to ask me to set up an ad. And I can either do a carousel ad with several different images, or a single image, or a, or a video, or a slideshow, or a collection. Videos have been really good. Uh, single images, if it's the right single image, can be really good. Carousel, again, we don't have time to talk about all the ins and outs of all of these, but this is sort of like a carousel right here. This is actually a post engagement, which we might talk about in just a second. But this basically where you have several different pictures and it doesn't look exactly like that but you get the idea so here make sure you've got whatever text you're going to use we don't really have time to talk about the specifics of text that works best right now we're just talking about kind of how to set the ad up uh, make sure you have your website in here and all of this other information filled out there so that's the basics of how to do the traffic now if we want to do an ad where we're targeting Let's do an ad that targets engagement. So let's say we have an ad on our Facebook page like we do here, or an actual post, not an ad, but a post. And we want to get people engaged with this post. We're going to, in this case, we've got a picture and then several other pictures, and I want to engage people in this post. I'm going to go here, and again, make sure that I'm calling this something that I'll remember it later. Okay, so we're going to click on Create. We're going to go to Guided Creation. We're going to click engagement this time because, again, we've got a Facebook post that we actually want to have people engage with. That's really what engagement means. So we're going to put test so I can remember later what this was. And the same type of rules apply here for who you're targeting. Everybody at this location, not everybody in the country. We only want to put this out to specifically people in our city. Again, the same thing with choosing your age, your gender. We won't go through all of that again. The demographics, make sure you're playing a little bit, uh, planning a little bit on what you're going to be picking for your demographics. Again, it depends on it. You might want to do an ad for homeowners or, or for pet owners, right? So, pet 
owner and dog owner maybe do one with the dog and specifically about pet stain removal um, we've done one of those that was really really good um, but you know play around look at this a little bit before you even plan your ad and figure out who you want to target when you do that um, let's say in this case we only wanted to target people either people who liked my Facebook page or friends of people who like my Facebook page because that way they'll actually I like to do this one a lot because then the friends will actually see that hey my friend likes it, this company so they must be a good company so a lot of the times we'll do posts that target friends of people who like my page um, same rules apply here with daily budget post engagement pick manual pay only not by the impression but by post engagement in this case which is kind of like the click and then you're going to go here and then you're actually going to choose the Facebook page that you're going to be using but here you're actually going to choose the post which that's our last post but you can even go to an older post let's see I think this is the one that we were looking at just a bit ago and choose an older post just a few days this is actually an expired offer but you kinda get the picture so that's post engagement and again only a few things have really changed in how you do this but nonetheless it can be confusing when you go in here to uh, get a Facebook ad done now let's look at doing one for video views we'll quickly go into that we'll just click on continue again I would put in my city here now with video views you want your budget I mean stick I think your budget sometimes has to be a little bit larger bit amount manual per view you yeah, know what's funny is sometimes they recommend crazy amounts I would go for like two cents right and I'm gonna get charged either on the impression or 10 second view 10 second view is gonna be usually a little bit cheaper from what I figured out and uh, you gotta watch that cause sometimes that cost per view is gonna change when you make another change so be very aware of that before you click continue because you can accidentally be bidding a lot more than you need to and then you're gonna go over here and you're going to either upload the video or let them know which video that you're gonna be associating this ad with uh, by going to the browse the library or uploading the video here uh, then you'll have room also to put a little bit of text around the video which and then you would click confirm after you're done so now let's look at one more which is lead generation so we're gonna click here click on continue and lead generation associate the page that you're gonna be using um, again pick your city pick the demographics all of this basically stays the same now a lot of the times you're gonna pay more per lead for lead generation but we want to still do manual they're recommending twenty dollars which I don't know that I've ever even paid more than a dollar quite honestly but I can't quite remember so we're gonna go here ninety cents and click single image or video whatever you want it to be and then what it's going to ask you to do is set up your lead generation page which is gonna be some of this information here and you're actually gonna punch in the ad and set up the ad right there so that those are kind of the basics again this is an intro video I do some more training on this and I can even help personally set up any of these campaigns for any of you guys that need help when we also train on this in the ad coaching club so those are the basics again if you need help let me know shoot me a message or shoot me an email happy marketing on Facebook talk to you guys soon